Hi, so it is day, I think, 47 ish of quarantine. And I'm a little bit bored and it's raining and the wind has started howling now behind me just when I wanted to start recording a video. Um, and this was on my calendar today. And so I kind of feel like this guy. He's in Italy. Yeah. So I figured since today is an off day, it's not a day that I'm doing any kind of academic work with you guys, but I wanted something to do. I made a bonus video for you. So here we go. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of my Twitter account. If you think back to what class was like pre COVID-19, you might remember that every day up on the front board, I would post like our agenda for the day, our learning target, the different materials you would need for class. And then at the bottom of the screen, I always have my email and my Twitter account. But none of you ever followed me. It's okay. I, I don't blame you. Um, I actually got this Twitter account in 2015. Um, I think we must have had some kind of teacher technology PD that year. And this was going to be a way for us teachers to connect like the cool kids, right? Fellow kids, join me on my Twitter feed, which actually at the time in 2015, I had a lot of students who had a Twitter because that was one of the major platforms that my students at that time were interested in. Um, Instagram was around, but it hadn't quite exploded to be such a big thing. And I don't know if Snapchat was around then. So Twitter was kind of where a lot of my students were gravitating towards. So I got a few followers the first year, um, but then it really tapered off and no one really pays attention to Twitter anymore, which is fine because personally, I like it for a few reasons. Um, one is it's kind of a good place to get some interesting news because you can subscribe to a lot of different news outlets and things will come up and you're really like on top of things and then you can have discussions or really I don't contribute a lot to Twitter except to read things but I read a lot of discussions about different current events and that's something that's interesting to me but the other thing is when I first started in 2015 I followed a whole bunch of French news outlets and a few other French teachers and other things that were related to my class because I thought this is going to be a place for my students to come and get some extra resources and learn some extra things that we don't get to in class. And I really started to like it just for myself for those reasons. So now here I am 2020 five years later and I'm on Twitter quite a bit actually sometimes even more than Facebook anymore because it's just a little more dynamic, I guess, than Facebook for me. Um, and there's a ton of interesting content out there. And so I'm reading things and I'll see something like, oh, this is great. My students would love this. And I retweet it and, and I realize that none of you guys are looking at it. Like literally no one is looking at my Twitter. But I, re I retweet a lot of stuff. I don't put a lot of my own stuff out there because I just like to find interesting things. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do a little video to introduce you, my students of 2020, to my Twitter account. So let's take a look. Here it is. First thing you'll notice is my profile picture. Yeah, that was from a few years ago when I had bangs and my Hello Kitty French glasses. Some of you know this because I've used it a few times in class, but not as much this year as I wanted to. When I wear those glasses, I only speak French. Je ne comprends pas l'anglais quand je porte ces lunettes ici. C'est vachement cool, n'est-ce pas? But I don't have those with me right now. Um, we had one day a few weeks ago before we jump started the online school where they let us go into our classrooms. We had 30 minutes, 30 minutes, the fastest 30 minutes of my life to go in and they said, grab and go. So get some materials, get some books, get whatever resources you're going to need to teach for the rest of the year from home. And that's the last time I was in my classroom 
and I didn't grab those glasses. They're in a desk drawer or something. They might be hanging on the whiteboard. I miss them. I wish I had them. Well, anyway, so this is me. I am at Madame R. Moore. Here is a picture of when I was in southern France a few years ago, and we kayaked underneath that huge aqueduct, the Pont du Gard was amazing. Um, if you look at my profile, you'll see I have 78 followers. A lot of them former students. A couple of them might be some of my relatives. I honestly don't know, and a few friends, but not a lot. I'm following more people than I have followers. But for me, the point of Twitter is not to have a lot of followers. I'm not trying to get popular on Twitter. I just like to read a bunch of stuff. And then I'll retweet it and post stuff here for you guys or anyone who follows me if you're interested in some extra French material. So this is, these are some of the things that I put out there. Um, I follow French Today. And she has a ton of just really short articles that are interesting things like modern French slang. Okay, this is part two. I must have missed part one. But these are just really fun to read and learn a few extra things, like stuff that we don't get to in class. These are not just your basic verb conjugations or vocabulary from a textbook. This is like the real language, the real stuff. Um, I follow some other educators and inspirational people too, so sometimes I'll retweet those. Like this one. This is how English speakers should learn French. And specifically, it says French people make mistakes. When they speak French, it's so true. My French threes and fours and fives who are worried about the subjunctif, even French people mess that up sometimes. So it kind of makes you feel a little bit better as you learn new things, right? Um, oh, HHS student section. I should follow them. Hello. There you go, guys. I'm with you now. So really, these are just the things that I like to retweet that sometimes they're just things I think are funny or interesting, but a lot of times it has to do with the French language. Poisson d'Avril for April 1st, which we did not get to celebrate in class this year. Um, cultural things. All right, now we've got some grammar. Yes, I will put some grammar out there. Look, I said pronoun review for French three, four, and five students, but this is good stuff and it's condensed, you know, short articles, quick things that you can do to refresh what you've learned. So also some other funny things. I graduated from Alma College, so on their last day of school before their school closed down, they had some people out here playing bagpipes because they're the Alma Scots. So it's like a, it's a theme. I love bagpipes. Can be a little much though, huh? Ooh, that's, that's good stuff. Okay, we'll mute that. So these are the kind of things that I put out there on my Twitter. Um, oh, you guys, do you all know Bradley Cooper? I mean, he's a little old to be popular with you, but he is an actor. He's a prolific actor. He's American. He speaks French and he speaks it well. And he says here in this interview, he's not even worried about making mistakes. He just has to put it out there. He say, he says, ça ne m'inquiète pas de faire des fautes. It doesn't bother me to make mistakes because he's communicating. That's the key. See, these are the kinds of fun, inspirational things that I like to put on my Twitter. So it's for you guys to see. And every now and then, check it out. And maybe you'll find something that's helpful to you or interesting. We don't have time to get to it in class, right? So I put it out here and no one's looking at it. No one ever comes to my Twitter. I have 78 followers, 78. I have 140 students this year. I have 78 followers. Approximately zero of my 78 followers are you, my students this year. I get it, I don't blame you, I'm just saying. You could follow me maybe, you could learn some stuff. There's, there's so many resources out there for you. A couple other things if you go 
and look at Twitter and like, these are the things that I've liked, not necessarily things that I retweet. Have you guys been doing Zoom meetings? When everyone's getting off the Zoom, but you're struggling to find the leave meeting button, so it's you and the host. This is us in our video conferencing stuff. This is me at the end of every video, because I'm always like, a biento, au revoir, and then you see me going, oh, the Lord pushed the button. Yeah, this is happening. This is our new reality. So these are just things that I liked. They're not things I necessarily posted, the insane clown posse. They're from Michigan and they're doing a really good job of being proactive about staying safe with the virus going around and everything else. So I liked them. I had to like George Michael when it was St. George's Day. Ugh, the best. And Chris Evans with his dog. I mean, come on. This is the content we need in these trying times. So it's not just the stuff that I retweet. You can look and see stuff that I like. Uh, click on media. These are pictures or videos that I posted other places. Oh, that's an unnecessary zoom. But like French club stuff from a few years ago, I didn't really update much with the French club this year, unfortunately, but like lots of good stuff with the club and activities that we've done in the past. You can check that out. Oh, that was the French exchange student at SVSU a few years ago when we went for the food festival. So I try to put stuff out there, pictures from school or just other things that I'm now we're not at school. So just my tweets are just things I'm reading online that I, I think are interesting and I hope you guys can enjoy. So it's for anybody. It's very wholesome. It's very culturally enriching. I don't put a bunch of junk out there on my Twitter. I put the good stuff out there for you guys so you can enrich yourselves and learn more French. And I hope you do. So now I'm thinking, I'm gonna look back on this video, like this really lame, shameless plug to get more followers. Yeah, prob that's kind of what I'm doing. But it's not just, I don't just care about the number. The number doesn't matter. 78, What? that doesn't matter. But it matters to me like that some of you guys are getting this content because I think this is great stuff. I want to give it to you. So here, this is the Twitter silver platter that I'm giving it to you. But you got to follow me to get it. So it's not about the numbers. It's just about I want you guys to see this stuff. And I hope you do. And I hope maybe look into some things. It doesn't have to be my Twitter that you follow, but, you know, find some other ways to enrich your French learning as we continue online and through the summer and who knows where we'll be this fall, but you should always be looking for ways to increase what you can do with the French language because that's how you learn the best. And that's the fun stuff. Okay, that's all I have for today. Have a great day, guys. I hope you liked this bonus video. And next time I talk to you, it'll be for some real learning. We'll do some grammar next time, I promise. I know you wish that we had done more grammar today. Merci, à bientôt, et au revoir.